In 2002, 24% of Botswana's population had HIV AIDS, the second highest rate in the world. Today, a stable government committed to stopping the spread of HIV and combating the AIDS virus is offering hope. A partnership between the University of Pennsylvania and the University of Botswana is now ramping up to play a critical role in confronting these health issues. In 2007, the University of Pennsylvania Library received a $40,000 Elsevier Foundation grant to conduct a medical information needs assessment at the University of Botswana. In June 2008, four senior Penn Library staff members interviewed more than 30 people, including government officials, librarians, researchers, and clinicians, gaining an in-depth understanding of how Botswana could realign its priorities and improve channels for sharing medical information, including the newly established medical school. The Elsevier grant was an interesting um, thing to happen to the Penn Libraries. Uh, we had been in contact with the uh, uh, folks from the School of Medicine here at Penn who have been working in Botswana for a long period of time. We've been there for about eight years now. Uh, it started as part of this program where we're helping to provide care to HIV infected patients, but it's evolved over the years. We ended up sending two teams over to Botswana uh, last summer. Uh, the first team was uh, the team that I led, and we, we took a look at the larger uh, issues related to the University of Botswana libraries. And then uh, another team of librarians had the more focused trip uh, supported by the Elsevier Foundation that looked uh, specifically at the issue of uh, the delivery of medical information. So our mission was really twofold. We were interviewing um, with an eye for how the University of Botswana library could serve the needs of the medical school but also, as Anne mentioned, meeting with clinicians at the Princess Marina Hospital to determine their immediate needs. The importance of medical information in the delivery of care, especially in treating HIV and AIDS, is critical because Botswana has the highest rate of HIV of, in all of Africa. They have a very democratic government. They have uh, discovered diamonds uh, a number of years ago and the diamond mining uh, the profits are going into the country. So they have the money <laughs> to buy, to buy the it. Yeah. To buy the information. Right, but not the wherewithal to actually do and they it have and the get it delivered. people that need it, and if you could get it in their hands in the, at the right time in the right format. We found that um, there was no central database of students or faculty uh, at uh, the University of Botswana. They have a lovely library, but you go into their library, the computers look like uh, the type of uh, hardware and uh, software that we would have had maybe 15, 20 years ago. There are some basic textbooks in the library, but not adequate, and there is no access to electronic journals at all. They don't have the programs, and they don't have a lot of digital learning. And we saw this as a real opportunity for the library to take advantage of the strengths and the relationships that had already been developed to enter into the information needs of uh, the country and of these developing programs that we're uh, really trying to assist uh, in. Part of the problem uh, on the medical side is the fact that Botswana is a fairly large country. Um, the the uh, health needs um, and, and the support for those needs um, have to be both in, in, in the cities and in rural areas. At Princess Marina Hospital, uh, they're desperate for point of care clinical resources, um, whether on a handheld device or in a textbook format, they need information at their fingertips when they're treating patients. People regularly carry their medical records with them on paper. We heard stories about difficulties at the very basic level, uh, lack of textbooks, uh, uh, uncertainty about mail delivery, the lack of basic information materials within the hospitals. Now, cell phone technology, particularly as, as those phones become more sophisticated, might be a great way to be able to deliver um, uh, medical informa information directly to the patient. So we developed a cell phone um, program where we can submit cases through the cell phone 
add pictures, they can send it to me on the same website, I answer it, it comes back to them on the phone. It was interesting, I think both teams came back realizing that there were still some very significant infrastructure problems. We've discussed the fact that we could go back and learn even more in Botswana, just the dedication and the hard work was really extraordinary. This is an absolutely ideal time for a, a, a collaboration with El Ciber to come along for us in our medical school and our library because they absolutely need to bring their uh, medical education into this next uh, century. If we can find a way to, or ways to help deliver that information, both to practitioners and to, uh, and to uh, their patients, I think we've, we've done something fairly significant. While certainly pragmatic, the Medical Information Needs Assessment Project, funded by the Elsevier Foundation, has proven just the jumpstart the UPenn Botswana Partnership needed to improve the distribution of medical information and help build a stronger, healthier Botswana.